Hello, my name is London Breed and I'm running for re-election to the San Francisco Board of Supervisors in District 5. I was born and raised in the Western Edition in District 5. There's no place I'd rather live or represent than this diverse and vibrant community. Since I was elected to the board in 2012, I've worked hard to tackle the most pressing issues facing our diverse neighborhoods. I am running for re-election because I believe we have done incredible work, but we still have so much more to do and I'm just getting started. As a lifelong renter, I personally feel the anxiety and the concern that many of my fellow District 5 renters feel. Even as the president of the Board of Supervisors, I'm still a renter and I have a roommate. My own building was recently sold and my roommate and I are not sure about our future. Whether we can stay or if we're evicted, where can we go? Where can we afford to go in San Francisco? We simply don't have enough housing to meet the demand and the housing we have is unaffordable to many of us. As your supervisor, I passed neighborhood preference legislation, which gives priority to neighborhood res residents seeking affordable housing in their own communities. Now, 40% of those new affordable units will that are built will be set aside for our friends, our neighbors, and families who live in our communities. I also introduced the highest affordable housing requirement in the history of San Francisco for the Fillmore and Divisadero corridors. I protected thousands of rent-controlled units from demolition, and I will continue to fight for renters and tenants in all income levels. Everyone deserves safe, secure, and affordable place to call home. For many people, the hope of permanent housing to call home every night is beyond their imagination. Nearly 7,000 people are on our streets each night. There's no easy or immediate solution, but there are actions I've taken to address the homeless crisis in San Francisco. I secured funding to rehabilitate public housing units that have been left vacant for years, providing permanent homes for 179 formerly homeless families who live there today. I fought to help fund a number of creative programs that are serving the homeless and are making a difference in their lives. I'm proud to support programs like Larkin Street Youth, Lava May, the Homeless Youth Alliance, taking it to the streets and our new pit stop program. The city is spending over $240 million on homeless services, but we still have so many people living on our streets in desperate need of help. So last December, I requested a full audit detailing how these funds are being spent, where they are making a difference, so we can ensure that everyone involved is being held accountable for getting results and saving lives. When you leave your home in the morning to get to work, go to the grocery store or to school, I'm also working hard to make sure that you get there safely and on time. I've carried legislation to replace hundreds of muni buses and expand the entire train fleet. I helped to launch the 5R or the 5 Fulton Rapid, which has increased bus services by over 33% during the morning commute, sped up travel times and has reduced collisions and encouraged thousands of new riders to take the 5. Because many district residents commute by bike, I secured $9 million to improve improve traffic flow and safety along the Octavia, Octavia Corridor and help complete the protected bike lanes along Oak and Fell Streets. One of the things I am most proud of is my environmental record of protecting environmental health because it impacts us all over the city. After 12 years of infighting and delays, I launched San Francisco's clean power program, Clean Power SF, the single most important thing that we can do to combat climate change. I passed legislation to provide safe, convenient disposal of unwanted medications, a program that has already kept 38 tons of toxic pharmaceuticals out of the bay and landfill, and most recently I passed the toughest ban on styrofoam in the country. Growing up in public housing, I never dreamed that I would be on the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, but I'm so proud to represent my community and I wake up every single day ready to fight for you. I'm proud of the work that my office and I have accomplished over the past four years to improve the quality of life here in District 5, but I know there is still so much more to do. I ask for your vote on November 8th so that we can continue the work we've begun on these critically important issues together. Thank you.